I'm six years old. I know one thing for sure. I love my mother. At eight, I really love my dog, Penny. At 14, I love Maureen, but she likes my best friend. At 16, I'm in love with Cass, but I'm dating her best friend. At 18, I'm just angry. I think nobody loves me. I hate everybody. 21, Rosie's madly in love with me. But for almost a year, I'm too drunk to notice that she's a hooker. And too drunk to care because I really didn't love her. At 23, I'm madly in love with Carol. We even got engaged until she dumped me at 25 when I confessed I really wanted to be an actor and not the middle class banker I had promised her. I'm being selfish, but I'm still heartbroken. At 26, Sharon and I are dearly in love, but she tortures me with flirtations and endless tests to prove that I love her. After three years of fights, anxiety, and exhaustion, I just quit loving her. It's then she chooses to become the woman I thought I originally fell in love with. It's too late, it's over. She asked me if we could at least be fuck buddies. I said, sure, okay. At 30, I'm in love with Eileen, but it's the onset of women's liberation. She weighs our relationship in terms of what her women's support group feels is appropriate. She dumps me because they tell her that I'm sexist, not a sensitive enough guy. She leaves a parting message on my answering machine. Thank you. You helped me grow. Grow what, a dick? How's that for sensitive? <laughs> At 32, I'm living with Susan, and she's a free spirit. She feels an open sexual relationship is necessary to fulfill herself as a woman. She runs off to Canada to live in a teepee with some hippie, and she leaves her needy sister behind in my apartment till I work up the courage to kick her out. I sleep with a lot of women during those summers of free love. I don't have much fun, and I got to clap three times. <laughs> a friend offers a telling observation. She says, you know, all those women you think you fall in love with, they're really the same fucked up girl. They just look different. Wow, moment of clarity here. She offers me a blind date with her best friend to prove her point. I accept. And I believe I feel real love for the very first time in my life. Yet, here I am, 40 years later. I find myself still asking, what the hell is love? And I realize now I may never know. The feeling now seems more an abstraction rather than a tangible sensation. At this late stage of my life, I feel like I know as little about love as when I started. I'm very grateful for all the love I've been given, but I have no clear feeling for how much I ever honestly returned. 